I'm going to show you quickly how light boxes work in Wix and uh, how to use a light box to maybe cover up a page um, to prompt users to know that like this is not available now but it might be someday or maybe there's a password that they need to get from you or something like that. In this case we are just blocking this uh, small gems art sale page uh, so that this can be blocked off until October 27th. Um, so this is a light box. This is the one I've set up for blocking this particular page. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to come out of this so that you can kind of see how to get into this. So this is the page, this is a sub page on your site that we want to block people from seeing quite yet. Um, so to do that, I've created a light box. Um, so in the editor, if you click on site menu, you'll see light boxes down here below. There's some other boxes I've created for a subscribe and a video pop-up. The bottom one here is the art sale coming soon. This is the one that I've created for this art small gems page temporarily until the sale is live. Um, so you can close out of this and now we're seeing this light box. Feel free to edit this. You just double click. You can change dates. You can add some content if you'd like. Uh, try to keep it short so that it fits within this uh, realm. I've also added a subscriber form. So if they aren't newsletter subscribers already, they can sign up um, so that they can get notified when the sale goes on. And then lastly, I put a button here that can take them to another page that you might have paintings for sale. I especially encourage this because if they've landed on this page, they're looking to buy one of your pieces. So direct them to another page that at least has maybe some older paintings or ones that are not, you know, on a discount sale. Um, link them to a page that there are paintings that they can uh, reach out to you about purchasing because so you don't want to lose a sale. Um, if they're looking to buy today, of course, they can also sign up so that they can come back for the, the sale that you're going to have. So um, once you're done editing this, if you want to edit it, the next step is um, to publish. So uh, of course, hit publish and that'll make that go live. And so now just to kind of show you what will happen, if I go to this page, which um, is accessible here, paintings for sale, What's going to happen is the page loads and it's not showing up for some reason. I think because I've already been on it. There it goes. Maybe it's just taking a second. Um, so this page loads and then this thing comes up. So, uh, and the reason it's kind of low because I have my window bigger. So here's that um, thing. Now, if I click here, this is going to take me to one of your other pages, your class demonstration paintings. Um, so we can change that on that button, but that's basically what is going to ha happen when they're on the, um, on that page. So I've hit publish. Now the next step is let's say you're ready to take this, um, pop-up off and let people purchase. You want to click on settings, um, actually not on that. So there's two settings in this. So when you click on the background, it's asking to change the background overlay. So you can actually adjust this to be more opaque or less opaque. I like to have it pretty opaque so it's kind of hard to see, but they can kind of see a little bit what they're missing. <laughs> um, if you click on the light box itself, this little box, that's where you get your triggers and other options. Um, right now, automatically display light box on pages is clicked on yes, and I have it on just the for sale page. Um, uh, there is no delay on it, although, so basically it loads the page and then it'll pop up that box. I've also turned off the close button so they can't just close it and see the page. Um, there is a close button, but that directs them to one of your other pages. So don't worry about any of that. The main one that you want to um, change when you're ready is you want to click on no when you have automatically display light box on pages. And then once you've done that, that's not going to show up anymore on the, the for sale page. Um, if I click on yes again, it remembers which page I had set it on to be on and it will um, once again be there. So again, to get to that, you want to get to your light box. So come here to light boxes, click on the light box. Then you want to click on this green area. This is kind of the box itself. And then click on settings or set triggers. It's the same thing. And then you want to click on automatically display light box on pages. You want to click no, and that will turn that off. So now the page is live for people to get to. And then once you've done that, you want to hit publish um, and that'll make it live to the site. And then you can view the site 
and double check and make sure that that is the case. So let's go. Um, I think the only place to get to that page right now is to go to portfolio and then you click here on paintings for sale. So now this pop-up should no longer be here. Um, if you see it or whatever, you can also reload the page. A lot of times it keeps it cached. Um, so reloading the page will clear it from the memory. Um, but again, I'm going to actually go back and turn it back on because we do want it on for now. And it does set the delay for two seconds to start. I usually put zero, which means it loads the page and then the pop-up comes up. Um, so they get a little sneak peek and then the pop-up comes up. <laughs> so um, hopefully this will work for what you need. I just wanted to show you how to get to this, how to turn it on, how to turn it off. Um, and so down the road, if you release a new batch of paintings, you can reuse the same light box and just come in here, edit the, the dates and the pricing or whatever you want um, and uh, reuse it for any time that you're going to have a sale that's only for a limited time. Um, yeah. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Um, make sure to hit publish when you're done. And then also make sure you close out of your editor when you're done because um, as you know, when you click on the dashboard, a lot of times if you click on edit site, it pops up a new window every time actually. Um, so you only want to have one editing window open at any time so that you're not overriding your work by having multiple editors open at the same time. Um, and then you can just go to your website and check things out and make sure it's doing what you want it to do. Um, this now is going to be popping up over that page. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have any other questions.